Hey guys, how's it going? This is Mr. Camo Gaming coming at you guys with another Destiny video. And in today's Destiny video, we're going to be doing another Destiny Talk episode, and we're going to be talking about Bungie's decision about Year One Legendaries and whether it is a good decision or a bad decision. So if you've been keeping up to date with all of the latest news on the Taken King, you'll know that Bungie has made a very important decision to the game. When the Taken King launches, you will not be able to upgrade your Year 1 Legendary Weapons and Armor to the new Maximum Attack or Defense stat. This means that, once you reach a certain point when playing through the Taken King and its story, you will find uncommon and rare weapons that are more powerful than your favorite fully upgraded legendary weapon right now. This has caused quite an outbreak by some community members, and so today I thought that I would discuss the good and bad points with Bungie's decision, and then go through some complaints from certain community members and address them. We'll start off with the bad points. There's really only one main bad point to Bungie's decision, which is the fact that all of the legendary weapons you've earned throughout Year 1 will become useless as soon as the Taken King launches. You'll probably find your Fatebringer, Black Hammer or Swordbreaker useful for the first few hours of gameplay, but as you progress further into the story and find some of the new Taken King weapons and armor, you'll need to switch out or even dismantle your Year 1 weapons because they will be rendered useless compared to Year 2 items. This can be seen as a bad thing because some players have played Destiny for hundreds of hours and grinded through countless amounts of RNG in order to receive the amazing raid weapons they now have, and as soon as the Taken King launches, all of those weapons will be useless. This has caused an uproar by some community members saying that it isn't fair that the gear that they've received after playing for hundreds of hours in year 1 wasn't even worth grinding for. This may seem like a pretty reasonable argument to be honest, but we will talk about this later on in more detail. Apart from that, there aren't really too many other bad points that are worth noting in this video. If you can think of another bad point about this decision, leave a comment and tell us what it is and I'll read through the comment section as I always do. Now let's move on to the good points about this decision. First of all, it will filter out all of the older weapons and armor so that new weapons and armor can be used very frequently. To explain what I mean, let's use the Fatebringer, which is currently one of the best legendary weapons in the game as an example. If you could upgrade the Fatebringer to the maximum attack stat in the Taken King, then if we look at it how it would probably be, you wouldn't need to use any of the new weapons that would be added because you'd already have an incredibly powerful gun that outclassed any of the new guns. If Bungie kept letting you upgrade your Fatebringer in future expansions, let's face it, you never stop using the damn thing. So in order to give players new weapons to feel innovative and fresh, they have essentially filtered out the Fatebringer as an optional weapon to use alongside all of the other legendary weapons from year one that we all loved so much. When you look at it like this, Bungie has made a great decision because if we could constantly keep upgrading our legendary weapons from year one in every expansion, we'd probably never need to try and receive any of the new weapons because we'd already have the best weapons in the game. This would be really bad for the game because with every Every expansion, there'd be less and less reasons to play the game, and would eventually just lead to everyone stopping playing Destiny altogether. Another good point is that, now that Year 1 weapons will be practically useless, it will allow us to use the new guns that Bungie is adding in the Taken King, which is bound to give the game a fresh and innovative feel. If we kept on using the same guns over and over again in every expansion, the game would get boring very quickly. That's why forcing players to get the new weapons that are being added is a great decision, because it makes the game more fun and it makes it feel new to some extent. The final good point I wanted to bring up is the fact that it actually gives players a reason to play the game again. After the Dark Below and the weapons that came with the Crota's End raid, people were hyped to see what new weapons Bungie would be equipping us with in the House of Wolves, and what good weapons can you earn from the Prison of Elders and Trials of Osiris. I cannot think of one weapon that is arguably good from the Prison of Elders. All of the weapons end there, apart from the Elder Cipher weapons, are worse than alternative weapons that you can receive from raids or even from vendors in the tower. The Trials of Osiris is slightly better, but once again the guns that I would consider good from Trials can pretty much be earned elsewhere in the game. Tomorrow's answer, you could reroll a Radgas Fury or an Ash Factory to have the exact same perks. Eye of Sol, a pretty good sniper, but considering Praelith's Revenge has a larger magazine size, I don't think it's too necessary. All of the guns you can earn in the House of Wolves were arguably worse than weapons in the base game and the Dark Below, and so in my opinion, playing the endgame activities in the House of Wolves for the sole purpose of getting loot is quite a disappointing endeavour. In the Taken King, all of the weapons from the base game Dark Below and House of Wolves will be rendered practically useless, and so players who've quit the game for right now may want to come back in order to catch up to the new maximum attack stat. 
This is good because it's bringing back old players again. And with the new features that are being introduced into the Taken King, I don't think there's a better time to be getting old players to come back and play Destiny again. Now let's go over one complaint that I've seen countless community members complain about, which is the following argument. It isn't fair. After playing for countless hours and earning all of my weapons and armor in year one, Bungie comes along and takes it all away. It's just not fair. This argument can be valid for the fact that I can see why people may be upset about playing for hundreds of hours and getting all of the best items in the game and then it all becoming useless. However, there are a few flaws in this argument. First of all, you don't technically earn weapons in Destiny at the moment. Pretty much all of the weapons that you've received so far are rewarded through RNG, which is a completely random system and thus there's no earning involved. You're receiving loot randomly, you're not using your skill at the game to work your way towards the loot. The other point is that this is a fairly normal thing to happen in MMORPG games, which is kind of what Bungie wanted Destiny to be, a first person shooter game with MMO like mechanics. When a new expansion is released in, let's say, World of Warcraft, a lot of the weapons that players earn before the expansion are rendered useless when the expansion hits. The same thing is happening to Destiny, and it will probably happen several times again in the future. Some players may ask, well, what was the point in playing to get those weapons then? The reward that you get for receiving those weapons is that you got to use them when they were useful and you got to play the game when they were useful with those weapons. Now you're going to need to earn new weapons and new armor and I get used to this system because, as I've mentioned, it is very likely to happen again in the future. So guys, that's just about going to do it for this video. I would like to know your opinions in the comment section below on this topic. Let us know if you think that it's a bit stupid that Bungie has taken away all of our Fate Bringers and Black Hammers and everything that we've earned in Year 1. Uh, or maybe you agree with me and you think, yes, this is a really good thing um, because we're going to get to try out the new weapons and we're going to have loads of new raid gear to earn and it's going to be really, really just fantastic as this new expansion. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, remember to smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe for daily gaming content. Remember to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Twitch. Links in the description below. And I'll see you guys in another video. So until then, ciao.